welcome to this week's chair yoga class. As always, uh, still miss you and hope that you're all keeping healthy and doing well. And thanks again to um, all the staff at Cancer Support Community for helping us to continue to do this. So if you don't know me, my name's Rita. Um, it's always good to have some water with you. So if you uh, don't have any, you could go and get some now, pause the video and go and get some water. And then we'll sit comfortably on our seats. Let's bring the hands to the thighs. Let the elbows relax down, let the shoulders relax and drop the chin just a little bit. And if it's comfortable for you, you can close your eyes. Bring one hand to the chest and one to the belly. We're not going to change our breathing, we're just going to observe it. Notice the movement. You might feel your belly moving. You might feel your chest rising. If you can, you can breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. But if that's difficult for you, or causes you any tension or anxiety, then breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. You can even purse your lips and make a little sort of action. Because we're trying to control our breathing, it doesn't have to be too slow. It's whatever natural for you. And if we can, we'll try to coordinate our movements with our breath. Keeping your hands on your chest and belly, for the next few breaths, I want you to focus on expanding your ribcage out to the front and then relaxing it. So inhale to the front and down a couple like that. So it might be a very subtle movement. It's okay if you don't really feel very much here. And now with your back against the chair, you can, again, you can keep the hands here or you can lower them down if that's more comfortable. For a couple of breaths, I want you to think about the back ribs moving in towards the chair as you inhale and exhale. So you might feel a little bit of pressure of your back pushing into the chair as you inhale. Again, it's, it's fairly subtle, so it doesn't have to be a big push. Most of our lungs are actually in the back of our, our body, so it's good to keep them moving in all directions. We'll do one more breath like that, breathing into the back. And then we'll slide the hands around to the side. So you can wrap them around with the thumb pointing backwards if that feels okay. You can bring them all, thumbs and fingers pointing in, or you can just Bring the hands to the, the ribs. So whichever way you can bring your arms so that you're not having tension in your shoulders. So having them this way might lift the shoulders. So I'm going to bring mine just like this. So I can just feel the bottom of my ribs. And for a couple of breaths, we're going to focus on breathing out towards the side. So you could push your hands away and then relax them. Again, it doesn't have to be a big breath. We're just focusing the movement in that direction. Let's do one more out to the side. And we'll bring the hands to the belly. You can bring them either to a diamond around your belly button or just rest them down. And think about moving in all those directions, so front and back and to the side. Imagine your rib cage expanding outwards like there's a balloon inside it's opening and closing. So inhaling and exhale. In and out. Two more breaths like that in all directions. And out. The last one, breathing in and 
breathing out. And rest your hands down. And just return your breathing to its normal pattern. So not thinking of breathing in any particular way. Just noticing how you're feeling. Let's take a quick inventory of, of how we do feel. So starting at the top of the head, working your way down through your neck and shoulders, through your arms, your back, your hips and your legs, to your feet. And just notice if there are any areas of tension in any of those places. And if there is, is there something you can do to relieve that tension? Maybe bending your elbows in a little bit, keeping your shoulders soft. Could be a very subtle change in the angle that you're holding your head. Now let's start moving a bit. So as you inhale, we're going to lift the chin. And exhale, lower the chin, lengthening the back of the neck. So we'll do a few like that. Inhaling and lift. And exhale, lower. Lift and lower. We'll come back to the center. We'll inhale here. As you exhale, turn to look to the right. Inhale through the center, and as you exhale, turn to the left. We'll do a few of these as you turn. Only turn as far as you can without getting your body and your shoulders involved. So try and keep everything else nice and relaxed. So don't force yourself to look too far over and bring tension in. But we never want to bring in tension or pain to one area as we're moving another area. That is not our goal. And then we'll come back to the centre. We'll dip the chin just a little. Bring the right ear towards the right shoulder. And we'll come down through the centre. And the left ear. The left shoulder. Just notice any feelings you have now from one side to the other, down through the center, over to the other side. So it feels very different for me on this top of my shoulder on this side than it does on the other. Lots of tension there. And last time over to the left. And we'll come back to the center. And shrug the shoulders up, shoulders up and then lower. We're going to shrug. And lower again. Don't make this too high because you could really scrunch up here if you're not careful. So just lifting the shoulders and then lowering. And lift and lower. One more lift and lower. And then we'll make some shoulder rolls. So if you can sit away from the back of your chair, that would be a good thing to try to do just for a couple of breaths. Lifting the shoulders up and around. Again, we don't have to exaggerate these movements. It can be very small. Or if you have a lot of shoulder mobility, you can make this a little bigger. So bring them forward first, and then up towards the ears. As you draw them back, think of squeezing the shoulder blades together. Let the back of the body do some work for you here. Let's do two more like that, drawing the shoulder blades together. And the last one. And then we'll switch directions. Coming from the back and then up and forward. So just a few. Nice and small. And then we'll come back to the center, give everything a little relax. And bring the arms down by the side. I'm gonna lift them up, maybe just a little higher than your eye height, so not all the way up to the ceiling. And then as you relax them, bring them down. So inhale up and exhale to lower. Nice and slowly here, inhale, sweep them up, exhale lower. As we do that, as we inhale up, maybe lift, lean back a little bit. And as you exhale and sweep them, the arms back, let the chest come forward just a touch. Try to keep that back nice and strong, inhaling up and reaching. Maybe you lean back towards the chair. And as you exhale, keeping a long back coming forward. So we're not curling under, we've got to bring the chest forward here. Leaning back, arms come up. You can look up to that space between the hands. And as you exhale, look down towards the floor. Do a couple more like that. Reaching up as you inhale. And exhale, sweep down. Last one, inhale up. And exhale forward. 
We'll come back to the center, let the hands rest on the thighs and just notice if you feel anything. So when you move your arms around like that, you might feel some warmth and, and uh, tingling as you've got that blood flowing into your hands. So I'm gonna sit forward in my chair. And we'll lengthen the right leg onto the floor. The toes are pointing towards the ceiling. Hands are on the left thigh. We've got a nice tall spine here, nice and long. We're going to hinge forward just a little bit, so a little stretch on the back of this right leg. We'll take a couple of breaths here. We're not forcing anything. And we slowly, as we inhale, lengthen the spine. So option here to keep the hands on the thigh or take hold of the chair. We're gonna keep the leg the shape it is, but we're gonna lift it a little bit and then lower. Lift and lower. So you can have your knee bent here if that feels better. And lower, a couple more. Lift and lower and lift and lower. And we'll bring that foot in. We'll lengthen the left leg out. Heels on the floor, toes pointing to the ceiling, hands on the right thigh. Again, nice long spine hinging forward, bringing the chest forward. And again, we'll take a few breaths here. Keeping that breathing nice and steady. Inhale, we'll lengthen the spine again, taking hold of the chair, and we'll lift and lower, and lift and lower. So you might notice that it's more difficult to lift one leg than it is the other, so depending on the strength of your muscles on either side could be different. One more, and then bring that leg in. Let's give those legs a little shake. And give them a little pat. So just take the fists and very gently just pat up and down the thighs on the inside and on the top and on the outside. We did a little bit of work there. So we'll continue to sit up nice and tall. We'll reach that right foot out. We're going to point and then flex and point and flex. Point and flex. One more. And let's write our name with our feet here. So rather than doing circles, we'll make some random movements spelling out your name. If you have a short name like me, maybe you do it twice. And maybe you try to do it like writing in a mirror. So going backwards, you have to think about that. And then bring it down, give it a little shake. So if you don't want to write your name, you could just make some random movements. We'll lift the left leg out and we'll point and flex. A few times. Still trying to sit up tall if you can. You can always hold onto the chair. If we can, we'll use our core muscles to hold us up, drawing everything in. And then we'll write our name with this foot. And try to do it backwards. And then bring it down shape. I'm going to sit back in my chair again. If you want to rest a little bit, you can lean back in the chair, or you can still sit up tall. We're going to make some fists with our hands. Make some circles with the fists. Just trying to move at the wrists here. And then we switch directions. Again, just observing the difference between one hand and the other. And then we'll stretch the fingers as wide as possible and then curl them in. Stretch and curl. So I think last week we tricked you or I tried to trick you. So this week we'll stick with our plan, our claws and our beaks and our fists. Stretch, claws, beaks and fist. Stretch, two more claws, beaks and fist, last one. Stretch them out as wide as you can. Make as much space between those fingers. Claw and a beak 
and a fist. And then give them a little shake. Imagine that you're tickling something in front of you. And then we'll stretch each finger back. So you can relax your arm down here or you can hold your arm up. Just take a breath in and out to each finger. Gently stretching it. Noticing how each finger feels different than the previous one. And the last one. And then the thumb. And we'll switch hands. index finger and then the thumb. We're going to do a little bit of work with our thumbs, just making gentle fists, just wiggle the, each thumb around in one direction and then switch directions. So you just want to keep that thumb joint nice and supple and working. Give everything a shake. Stretch the arm out in front and point the fingers to the floor. Take the left hand, bring the thumb underneath the wrist and gently squeeze the back of the hand, keeping the shoulder relaxed if you can. And give the fingers a wiggle, just a nice stretch, decompressing the wrist. And then we'll pause there and we'll turn the palm up and stretch this way. So you can always do this with a, a bent elbow can and lengthen out. Try it that way. Again, keeping the breath nice and even. And relax that, give it a shake. We'll do the other hand. So of course, at any time, since this is a, is a recording, if you do feel out of breath or tired, you can just pause it and take a few breaths and then come back to it. We're going to wiggle the fingers here again, trying to keep the shoulders relaxed, and then we'll rotate and stretch the fingers back. Let's give it a little shake. Give them both a shake. If you have some water, this would be a good time to take a little sip. Oh, a big sip. So, we'll come to our um, sun salutations and for this I'm going to sit forward on the chair a little bit uh, this chair is a little bit high really to do this so if your feet can be flat on the floor that's um, a really good place to be for me to do that I have to sit forward because this is a dining room chair and it's a bit higher than chairs we use uh, when we normally do yoga so I'm going to start though by sitting up nice and tall and just Wiggle side to side a little bit. Feel your sits bones on the chair. So you want to be evenly weighted there. So you're not hanging over to one side or the other. The collarbones wide. Draw the ribs in. So we're not arching the back and sinking into that lower back. Draw the ribs in just a little bit. So your shoulders are on top of your hips. You're sitting very regally here. And then we'll relax the arms down by the side. Inhale. Sweeping the arms up. And exhale, bring the arms down, fold forward. So remember, this can be as deep as touching the floor, or maybe you're just gently rolling the shoulders forward. Your choice. As you inhale, draw the shoulder blades back, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reaching the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthening through the spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, reach. Exhale to your mountain pose. Let's do that one more time, nice and slowly. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, Fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway, drawing the shoulder blades back, reaching from the top of the head to the tail. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. This time we'll bring the hands down through the center. We'll take a couple of breaths here. 
and maybe bring the thumbs to your um, sternum, to your breastbone. Gently pressing against the bone, notice the lift and the drop of your chest as you breathe. So let's add to our um, other sun salutation. Inhale, big sweep up. Exhale, this time we'll come to cactus arms. So arms are still in front of you, not too far back. Ribs are still in. Keep a long spine, hinge forward, and then round down towards the floor. Again, we'll inhale that half lift, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale to cactus arms. We'll take a side bend to the right and through the center and the left. Inhaling up, exhale, side bend and back and side bend and back. Bring the hands down to the thigh. Sitting up tall, we'll draw the elbows back, lift the chest and the chin. A little arch to the back here. And as you exhale, curl the tail under, reach the arms forward, let the head drop just a little bit, rounding the spine. Just repeat that, lifting the chest and the chin, elbows reach back. You can squeeze the shoulder blades together here a little. And then exhale, fold forward. Take a couple of breaths here. In this resting pose. <clears throat> And then we'll sit up nice and tall. We'll bring the hands to heart center. Inhale to sweep the arms up. Exhale to cactus. With a long spine, we'll hinge forward. And then exhale, fold down. Draw the shoulders to blaze together as you lift halfway. And exhale to fold. Inhale, lift and reach the arms up. Exhale, we'll come back to our cactus arms, keeping a long spine here. Rotate the rib cage to the right and then back to the center. Rotate left. Inhale through center. Exhale left. And inhale. Exhale. Back to the center. Bring the hands down. Inhaling to lift the chest and the chin. Draw the elbows back. And as you exhale, curling forward, bringing the hands forward, letting the head rest. One more time, drawing the elbows back. This time you can make this a little bit bigger by reaching the hands behind you, either taking hold of the chair or interlacing the fingers behind your back, reaching the arms long, lifting the chest. Just take an extra breath here. And then release the hands. Lower the chin, reach the arms forward, take a couple of breaths in this rest pose. And sit up nice and tall. <clears throat> we'll do a little bit of um, foot movement we haven't done for a while. We're just gonna do some simple reaching of the arms just like functional movements that we'd use in every day. So imagine that you're taking something off a shelf up high and you're putting it down on the floor. So we do that a couple of times with the same arm, reaching up and bringing it down. Then we we'll do the left arm, reach up and bring it to the floor. Reach up and bring it down. This time we'll take it from that high shelf with the right hand and we're going to bring it down and put it down. Imagine you're putting it down on the counter beside you. Reach up high and then bring it out to the side. And switch hands. Reaching up high, bring it down to the side. Reach high, bring it down to the side. This time we're going to turn around and take something as though we're twisting and taking something off the counter behind us. I'm going to put it up on a shelf across. I'm going to rotate and reach and then turn and put it up high. I'll switch hands. So left arm reaches behind 
and it will reach and put it away on the shelf at the top. So these rooms are good for when we're driving. Imagine you're reversing the car and you're looking over your shoulder. You bring it up and put it on that shelf. And we'll bring it down. This time we'll reach up to the right. We're going to bring it down across to the left. Reaching up and bring it down. We'll switch hands. Reach up to the left and bring it down towards that right foot. Reach up and then bring it down. Take a breath. Slow your breathing down if that was too much activity for you. So now that we've warmed up a little bit, we can do a bit more twisting. Let's cross the arms. Let's bring the right arm underneath and the left arm on top. And we're sitting up nice and tall here. So we want to keep the shoulders relaxed. The nose and chest are in line with the middle of those hands. We're going to keep of the arms. Rotate the ribcage to the right. Come back to the center. So don't think about moving the arms. Think about moving the rib cage and then back to the center. So if we just move the arms, it will look like this. Okay, and you'll see that my ribs aren't really moving. So we want to move from here around to the side. So it's not as big a movement as you might think. And back to the center. One more time to the left. Back to the center. So we're going to stay here. We come into eagle arms. So for here, we can bring this left arm up. The right arm can stay underneath like this, or you can cross it underneath and bring that hand up towards the other one, or you can come to a hug, your choice. Let's cross that right foot over the left for eagle. So lots of options here. If this is too much for your shoulders, come more to this position. We're gonna hinge forward, curling down, and inhale, lifting the elbows. So lowering the elbows as we're bending forward and lifting them as we come up. One more time, lowering down and inhale up. I will pause in the center. We're going to draw some circles with the elbows. So again, it might be a pretty small circle. It doesn't have to be a big movement. And then we'll reverse directions. Oh, and then stretch those arms out wide, just like an eagle flying away. Flap those wings a few times. Uncross the feet and come down to take a breath. And we'll do the opposite side. So this time, left arm comes underneath, right arm's on top, sitting up nice and tall. We'll rotate to the left first. And then come through the center. As we exhale, rotate to the right through the center, one more each side. So I like to inhale through the center, so get that nice long spine and then exhale to the side. Come back to the center, this time we'll lift the right arm. Left arm can stay here. You can hold your shoulders or you can bring elbow to elbow and try those eagle arms, depending on how your shoulders are feeling today. We'll cross that left foot over the right. Elbows come down. Bending forward, inhale, lift the elbows and the chest, reaching up just a little, and exhaling down, and inhale, one more. So any time that your arms or your shoulders are bothering you here, release it into that more gentle version. So maybe here, and we'll come through the center, we'll make some circles. This feels like quite a lot of work on the arms and shoulders, so we'll take a rest from arms in a moment. Oh, and then stretch the arms out. Let that eagle fly away. Uncross the feet. And take a rest pose. So hands come to the knees, let the chin drop a little bit round the spine. And just take a couple of breaths. Sit up nice and tall. 
and do a little bit of core work here. So let's start bringing our hands to heart centre. We're going to open the arms like a low cactus and then bring them back to the centre. That's what we're doing. So we're going to open the arms and then close them. This time as we open the arms, we're going to lean back. And as you exhale, draw the hands together, draw everything up to the centre. So think of squeezing everything in and zipping it up. That's the feeling that we want to get. Lean back. Use the core to pull you up. Lean back and pulling everything in. So you can stick with that version, or if you want to add to it, you could lift one leg as you come back and then lower it down. Then you could lift the opposite leg and lower. But you can do no legs at all as well. So if you want to add the leg in, you can do that. Lifting and lowering. Let's do two more. Exhale to squeeze everything into the center line. Inhale back and exhale, drawing everything back in. Lower those arms. Take a couple of shoulder shrugs. So we're coming to some of our warrior poses. So for this, we're going to turn around to the side. Let me move my block out of the way. So we're facing the right. We're kind of over the corner of the chair here and both feet should be flat on the floor if possible. Chest is going to face that right leg, arms are down by the side, nice long spine. I'm going to inhale and reach the arms up. So you can reach them as far as you can without getting tension in your shoulders. So this is warrior one. We'll take a couple of breaths here. And then we'll exhale, lower the arms so left arm comes behind, right arm is long for warrior two. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Lower that left arm and take hold of the chair. Rotate the right arm. Reach it up and over for your radiant warrior. So depending on how your neck feels, you might be able to look up at that hand. If not, just keep it in that neutral position. Come back to warrior two. We're going to lower the arms down here and lengthen this left leg out in front. So I like to keep my heel on the floor. If you want to keep your whole foot on the floor, you can do that too. So we've still got that long spine. We're going to take the left hand inside the thigh. We're going to hold onto the chair with the right hand. And then keeping a long spine. So we're not doing a side bend. We're hinging at the hips here. Reaching down towards that knee, maybe past the knee. couple of breaths. If you can, you could look down at that foot. And then slowly come back up. We'll bend this knee. Just give everything a little shake. And we'll switch over to the opposite side. So again, feet are flat on the floor. This time we're over that left corner of the chair. Chest is facing that left leg. Reach the arms up. Palms kind of face in here. But you can rotate them a little bit more so the pinky finger sides are, are beginning to face each other. Nice breath. As we exhale, lower that right arm behind. Left arm is out in front. The gaze is over those left fingers, keeping the shoulders down. So try to keep the arms lower than shoulder height. If you bring them too high, you might get your shoulders into um, my shoulders might come into play. We'll lower that right arm, rotate the left, sweep it up and back for your reverse warrior or your radiant warrior, holding onto the chair with the opposite hand, and even maybe. You can look up at that hand, or it might be comfortable just to look forward. So breathing through these left ribs now. We'll inhale back up to warrior two. 
We'll lower the arms. We'll do triangle on this side. So this right leg will lengthen out. Again, you can have your foot flat on the floor or um, have the heel on the floor with the toes pointing up. Holding onto the chair with the left hand. Right hand is on the inside of the thigh. Again, a long spine here, hinging towards that knee. Maybe reach further. So you might feel a stretch on this inner thigh. Maybe you can look down at that foot. Take a couple of breaths here. And slowly bring everything back up. Bend that leg, bring the foot to the floor, give everything a little shake. And come back to the center. Let's take a little shoulder stretch here. So we'll reach that right arm out in front, we'll cross it over the center line, then take the left arm above the elbow and squeeze that arm in towards you. So this arm can be bent if you like. I feel it's better with my arm stretched, but you can try with a bent arm. And if you can, you can look over that right shoulder. So this doesn't have to be like a death grip here. It's just a gentle squeeze into the chest. And then relax everything down. Give that a shake. And we'll do the other arm, reaching it out. Crossing over and then squeezing it into the chest. Maybe look over that left shoulder. This is another place where you might notice a lot more tightness in one shoulder than the other. It's normal to have different feelings on each side. And then we'll relax everything down with a bottle shake. Give our arms a bit of a rest. <clears throat> we'll come back to our feet. We did some work on the feet at the beginning. We'll do a little bit more now. We're going to come up onto the tiptoes, like you're wearing really high heels. And then roll through the feet onto the heels, lifting the toes towards the ceiling. So we're lifting the heels and then the toes. Lift the heels, you might feel some work in your calves. And then lifting the toes, you might feel a stretch right by your shin bone. Lifting up, or just rocking backwards and forwards. Lifting the heels, and then the toes. One more time. And then come back to the center. I'm going to repeat one of the stretches we did at the beginning. We'll lengthen the right leg towards the floor or onto the floor. Heel is resting on the floor. Toes are pointed to the ceiling. Hands are on the left thigh. Nice long spine. Again, we're going to hinge forward. And maybe it feels different now than it did at the beginning of class. of more nice even breaths here we're going to come lifting up bring the hands to the chair and we're going to lift and lower a couple of times doesn't have to be very high one more after this good we're going to keep working with this leg we're going to bend the knee in we're going to bring the foot over the thigh so if this is too much for you, you can bring your foot to the floor and rotate that knee out to the side, or you could bring it to a block that way. But if you can, you can bring it to your thigh. We'll do pigeon this way. So this right foot is flexed, toes are pointing back towards the knee. And sitting up again, evenly weighted on those sits bones and begin to hinge forward. As soon as you feel a bit of a stretch, then stop. stop. I remember what felt 
right last week might not feel as good this week. Something you could do yesterday, you may not be able to do today, or vice versa. So take your cues from your own body. Try to actively relax this hip. Breathing. And then as you inhale, slowly come back upright. Unwind this leg and hug the knee in. So you can hug it around the shin or you can bring the hands behind your knee, underneath the thigh, if that's more comfortable. And we're just gonna make some big circles. Try to have your arms do the work here so that this leg can be nice and relaxed in this joint. We'll do circles in one direction and then we'll switch directions. And then bring that down, big shake. And we'll repeat it on the other leg. So remember what worked for one hip might not feel as good for the other. So, um, just pay attention to what your body's telling you to do today. We'll start with our um, stretch here, heels on the floor, hands are on the right thigh, and we've got that nice long spine again, hinging forward. Breathing. Two more breaths here. All right, sit up nice and tall, take hold of the chair. We're gonna lift and lower a few times. Two more. One more. And then we'll bend this knee in. And we're gonna reach that foot over the thigh. So again, just taking inventory here of what feels good for this side. It might feel very different than the other side. So again, now this um, left foot is flexed, so the toes are pointing back towards the knee or the shin. We'll sit up tall, equally weighted on the sit bones, and begin to hinge forward. So this is very different on this side for me feels much tighter than my other side. So I'm not gonna come as far forward. I'm gonna pause when I feel that tension and maybe ease off a little bit and then try to actively let this relax and release. And then after a couple of breaths, I might be able to come deeper into it. Slowly lift ourselves out of this, lift the leg, and again, taking hold of the leg either around the front of the shin or underneath the thigh. Make the arms do the work here, let the leg be relaxed, make some circles in one direction, and then the opposite direction. And we'll bring that leg down, give it a little shake. We'll bring the feet about as wide as the chair legs. So the knees are wide. I'm going to rotate one leg to the left and the other one to the left. So one is externally rotating, one's internally rotating. And look over the opposite shoulder. We'll come through the center and we'll go the opposite way. So just like you're having a photograph taken and you're looking over that shoulder to make the best shot. Keeping everything soft and relaxed. Couple more. Last one. We'll come back to the center 
Yeah. Sit up nice and tall. Um, let's reach the arms up tall first. And then we're gonna rotate and bring the arms down. So left hand is on top of that right thigh. And rotate a little bit more. So a bit of a bigger twist than we did earlier. Maybe looking over that right shoulder. And depending on your chair, you might be able to hook this arm over the back of the chair. I can't do that on this chair. You're going to keep in this twisted position, but slowly turn the head, really slowly to look over the left shoulder and maybe you can look a little bit beyond it without forcing it. And then we'll slowly turn it back through the center to look over that right shoulder. Begin to unwind, come back through the center, and then we'll inhale and reach the arms up. We're going to twist first and then bring the hands down. So again, you can push down into this thigh. That left arm can be hooked around the chair or resting on your hip. A couple of breaths here. over that left shoulder. So again, we'll keep the chest turned, but we'll slowly turn the head. Maybe take a couple of breaths to get there. Turn it all the way to look over that right shoulder. And slowly turn it back. center give everything a little little bit of love some shoulder shrugs some hip circles whatever feels good anything that you feel you want to do uh, before shavasana you want to be able to sit comfortably so for me for shavasana i like to be able to really rest my feet and since my chair is a bit high i'm going to put a block on the floor so my feet can rest if you have a book or a couple of pillows or something you could put underneath your feet. Um, that would be good. Or maybe your feet are on the, on the floor. So let's sit back in the chair. Feet are resting comfortably. Elbows are drawn in. Let's turn the palms up. Or maybe turn them down. See what feels best to you. Which way can you relax most? And if you change your mind halfway through, that's fine too. So we want the shoulders to be relaxed. We'll let the chin drop just a little. And we'll close the eyes. If you don't want to close the eyes, then just have a soft focus, maybe a few feet in front of you on the floor. So not a hard focusing on something, but just gentle gaze. And just notice how everything feels. Start at the top of your head. Bring your attention to your forehead. Imagine you can smooth away any frown lines. Bring your attention to your temples. And down to your jaw. Relax your jaw. Relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Notice the breath moving through your throat. And bring your attention to the back of your neck. Try to imagine it softening and relaxing. 
working across the top of the shoulders. The shoulder blades. And the upper back between the shoulder blades. Take a couple of breaths, focusing on that area between the shoulder blades, softening it and relaxing. Notice your lower ribs moving into the chair as you breathe. And come back to your collarbones. Notice a slight rise in the collarbone as you inhale. Your chest and your ribs. Let your belly be soft. Move in and out gently with each breath. shoulders are relaxed, your upper arms are relaxed, your elbows are bent, no tension in them, and your hands are heavy on your legs. And take a moment to focus on the tips of your fingers. And for a couple of breaths, bring all your focus and attention to the tips of your fingers. So each breath is sending oxygen right to the tips. And then notice your pelvis. It's relaxed and heavy on the chair. Notice where the back of your thighs touches the chair and where your hands are touching your thighs. With each breath, imagine your hands sinking deeper into the thighs and the thighs sinking deeper into the chair. Your knees are soft, calves are relaxed, the ankles are softened. Notice which parts of the feet are touching the floor or the block. Imagine those parts sinking deeper and deeper. Notice your toes. And for a couple of breaths, bring all your attention and focus to the tips of your toes. Sending each breath all the way down to the toes. And bring your attention back to your chest and belly. Focus on the movement of each breath. breathing, just observing it. And then begin to lengthen the breath, making the inhale a little longer and the exhale a little longer. And just bring some small movements back. Start by small wiggles of the fingers and toes. Circling at the wrists and the ankles. Maybe stretching the legs out. Stretching the arms out for a big, good 
of more in the wood. And then we'll bring everything back down. We'll sit up nice and tall, opening the eyes. Shoulders are relaxed. The ribs are in, sitting in that regal pose that we started with. And we'll bring the hands to heart center. And we'll bow to each other virtually. Namaste. Thank you all. Stay healthy.